Well, if you weren't at the Colts Center this past weekend, you missed some entertaining hockey between Wisconsin and North Dakota. The Fighting Hawks rallied and won the opener 3-2. The Badgers settled for an overtime tie in the finale. This weekend, Wisconsin resumes Big Ten play at Michigan State. I'm Brian Posick, the radio voice for Wisconsin hockey, and associate head coach Marco Siki joins me next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Well, Mark, I tell you, last weekend against North Dakota was up and down action, kind of like NHL games, watching the Badgers and the Fighting Hawks go at it. What did you take from that series? Yeah, I think anytime you're going to see North Dakota and, and how they come into a building, and whether it's in their building or on the road, you're, you're going to see the same thing. Mm -hmm. And how they approach the game is very similar to NHL style. Uh, Tony talked about uh, that with our team, that that is what they're going to see, what our guys are going to see is NHL style, um, their, their, their systems and their, uh, their identity has not changed over the course of many, many years. And uh, it's, a, it's a good test for our guys. Like, you know, we saw what we did last year, made a little, you know, little bit of a step or a big step. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you get North Dakota coming in and that's a, a good measuring stick for us. And I thought our guys did a good job competing uh, both nights back to back. Now we just have to throw in some of the puck possession, a little bit more of a skilled game, uh, which we're trying to build on. Yep, we find a way to put the puck in the back of the net a couple of more times too. And a lot of that has to do with going to the hard area, right? It is, and, 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 and especially after North Dakota uh, defensive core, that's always gonna be in your face, kind of punch you in your face and see how you're gonna react. And uh, I thought our guys did a pretty good job with it. I mean, they got they got to the dirty areas. We just didn't bury a, uh, enough pucks. We had some looks at the net and we had some chances. Um, but that that's a, a good lesson for us to understand how we can play uh, both defensively and then offensively what we have to do against a team that's going to be tougher on the net. Yeah, and you would think a guy that's five foot three, maybe 140 pounds, would shy away from going to the net. Sean Doogie does not. He had two assists on Friday, first points as a Badger, then scores his first goal as a Badger on a penalty shot on Saturday. He was a lot of fun to watch. You know, it's, it's funny to say that too, Brian, is uh, the, the games that we played up in Green Bay, some of my buddies that are up there, longtime hockey guys, uh, that, that's the first name they brought up was uh, Sean Doogie and, and how he played and how tenacious he was and, and not, not shying away from getting after the, uh, the puck in hard areas. And, uh, you know, it's fun to see his growth so far as a uh, first year college player. You knew what kind of skill and talent level he had and even jumping into the World Junior Camp this summer did really well and turned the head of many NHL people as well and you don't see that very often on a uh, someone that with his size and stature so uh, for him to make noise with NHL people and get them talking uh, that says a lot about his game. Yeah it was a double dose of doogies on Saturday too because Sean's older brother Jason lit the lamp. Wisconsin heads to Michigan State this weekend. The Badgers have a Michigan native. Goaltender Jack Berry will hear from him. Take two minutes with Jack coming up in just a moment. This is Lexi Rush. She's 10 and she's amazing. You see, Lexi was born deaf and couldn't hear anything. That was until her doctor in Appleton referred her to the pediatric specialist at UW Health in Madison. Now, two operations later, Lexi can hear everything. Powerful minds, compassionate care, amazing results. UW Health, remarkable. How do you show up? Do you just bring it, or do you bring it all? Focus. Third row, like a pro. Step up to GMC with price reduction below MSRP plus purchase allowance on all 2017 Acadia SLT models. That's nearly 6,200 total value on this Acadia. We are professional grade GMC. here last year did you expect to play as much as you played? Uh, to be honest I did not. Um, I knew we had Drusek and uh, I knew he was uh, their star of the previous year and I thought I was you know gonna push him and he was gonna push me and um, it just came a couple injuries there and uh, 
that's kind of how it happened. You grew up in Holly, Michigan. So where is that located? I uh, just saw the Flint, um, and then uh, West Detroit there. Grew up a Red Wings fan. Yep. Yep. Always. Yeah. You, uh, you got a chance to meet Gordy Howland. Yep. Is that right? I have. I have uh, over at the uh, Coaster Foundation softball game. Yeah. Were you nervous? Uh, a little bit, yeah, because you know he's a living legend, right? <laughs> so yeah, I was pretty nervous. Yeah. And as you were growing up, your favorite goaltender was uh, Manny Legacy. And why that? Uh, just because he was a he was a Red Wing for so long, and that's why we get, I always wore number 34 because of him. And then it's crazy because he's my goalie coach now back home, so it's kind of funny to talk to him about those things. Were you a big uh, college sports fan growing up? Uh, a little bit. My family's always been a Michigan fan, um, and a few cousins who went to Michigan State, so it's always been like a, a in-family rivalry, I guess. Between Michigan and Michigan State, which one was the last one to win an NCAA hockey championship? Uh, I'd say Michigan, because did Michigan State win in... Uh, no. Or wait, because Michigan State did win. Yeah. Yes. They won in 07. 07, right. Yeah. Michigan last won one in 1998. Yeah. Um, do you know who uh, who was the last Big Ten men's basketball champion, Michigan or Michigan State? I'd go Michigan State. Oh, Michigan. Oh. Who was the last Big Ten baseball champion, Michigan or Michigan State? Uh, Michigan. Michigan State. Oh, man. Who was the last Big Ten football champion, Michigan or Michigan State? Michigan. Michigan State. Oh. Every year you get to go back to Ann Arbor to play Michigan or East Lansing to play Michigan State. That must be a thrill for you and your family. Yeah, yeah, it's always awesome. A lot of friends, you know, text me to say if I have any extra tickets or not, but um, it's pretty great to go back because a lot of family get to see me because they're not really able to come out to Madison here, but it's always a good time to go back and play Michigan, Michigan State. Oh no, did Lucky get out again? Stay down, boy. Don't worry, I'll take the new Buick and go look for him. Lucky! It's the third time this week. Introducing the reimagined 310 horsepower Buick LaCrosse. You'll find any reason to get behind the wheel. Hurry into your Buick dealer and get 17% below MSRP on almost every 2017 sedan model. That's nearly 7,400 on this LaCrosse. Hurry, offer ends November 14th. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney and together we saved a life. UW Health, remarkable. I'd like to thank Jack Berry. I threw him a few trick questions there. Badgers are going to East Lansing to take on Michigan State this weekend. Before we talk about the Spartans, Marco Siki will be the head coach of the Badgers this weekend. Tony Granado's in Germany with USA Hockey for a tournament leading up to the Winter Olympics in South Korea in February. But you've been a head coach before, so what are your relationships like with referees, Mark? <laughs> well, you better not ask my dad. So he used to tape a $100 bill up and say, that's yours if you don't get thrown out of a game over the course of the year. Uh, certainly for my seven years in Green Bay, that, didn't, that never lasted very long. Um, but I've I'd like to say I'm more mature now, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little yeah. bit smarter. Sure, and you get to work with Mark Strobel and Shane Connolly this weekend, too, and that'll be fun. And Shane oftentimes, I think by a lot of people outside of your office, gets overlooked. He does a lot for your program. He's unbelievable. I mean, not only from uh, on ice and the hockey and his knowledge of the game, uh, obviously played at a high level and, and did very well, um, but all the stuff he does behind the scenes to help out our players uh, certainly – help out Tony a ton and take a lot off his plate, uh, that, that helps a lot. I mean, you find somebody that can run the office as seamlessly as he does, it's outstanding. All right, you got a Michigan State team that's 4-4 four and four this season under first-year coach Danton Cole. They won only seven games last season. What are they doing differently? What do you see that's different about the Spartans this year compared to last? Well, I think it's similar to our situation last year where you come in and new staff, there's a lot of excitement overall in the program, whether it's the fans on campus, in the locker room, and I think the players sense that excitement uh, plus they're also playing the undercard dog somewhat what like yeah. we did last year and um, but you do know what you're going to get out of Danton you're going to have a very committed team a team that's going to play extremely hard uh, and detailed and and their habits are very good so and he's coming from the U.S. program so he's used to coaching high level skill and players and understanding how to get the most out of players that have high hockey IQ and uh, so him and Chris Longo I know well and Joe Extra I know well so uh, their, their staff they'll do a 
nice job there. All right. Have fun with it. Good luck. Right. Thanks, Brian. Sure. Badgers associate head coach Mark Osiki. Uh, the Badgers and Michigan State, no television this weekend, but you can hear both games in Madison on the Big Ten 70 WTSO, also on the Badgers Sports Network, the iHeart Radio app. Face off both nights at 6 o'clock. For Mark Osiki, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.